Moving on to more uh, news here, a 7 News update tonight. An Abbeville County man is in jail tonight facing a slew of charges. He's the owner of the dogs who attacked a woman in Honey a Path. That victim still fighting for her life at an upstate ICU. 7 News reporter Asia Wilson spoke with that woman's sister earlier today. While an arrest has been made, Kyleen Waltman's sister says with everything her sister is facing, the charges the dog owner is facing are not enough. My sister lost her life three times. She died three times. As 38 year old Kyleen Waltman continues to fight for her life. Abbeville County Sheriff deputies arrested Justin Minor two days after they say three of his dogs attacked her. She had to have both of her arms amputated and her colon removed. We've got ambulance rides, helicopter ride. We've got OR bills. She's already had one, two, three, four surgeries. Amy says with the constant pain her sister is feeling, minors charges don't seem strong enough. I'm glad that there has been some charges ser uh, served on them, but I don't think I'm completely satisfied with which or what charges have been charged against them. Minor faces five charges related to owning a dangerous animal who was involved in an attack. Something's going to have to be done about dog, these, these people who own these animals who train them for these purposes. Neighbors say they've seen dogs roaming the area before and that leaves Waltman's family with questions. What if this was a kid? So some law or something, something has got to be done about this. Her sister says while this experience has been life altering, she will not stop fighting for her sister. My voice may not get nothing done, but I'm going to make sure something is done in Kyleen's name. Something is going to have to be done. Waltzman's sister says that people can drop off donations at Lou and Perry and Biscuit Barn to help with medical expenses. But she says the biggest thing they need now is prayer as she's not out of the woods yet. In Greenville County, Asia Wilson, 7 News. And the Abbeville Sheriff's Office is still investigating this case. Minor's bond hearing is set for tomorrow morning.